Hello, first grade. Welcome to another drama class. Happy Thursday. I hope you had a very fun Wednesday and enjoyed any work you did with passion projects. But we are going to start our unit today on emotions, right? And we are going to talk about our feelings and certain things and the way they make us feel. And we will reacquaint ourselves with all the stuff we learned last year in K-5 about emotions and feelings. And for all my friends who are new this year here at Og Prep, this will be a chance to get to share your feelings and to see how some of your friends feel. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about some emotions. Now, for the most part, we have dealt, um, if you were in K4 or K5 with me, we have dealt with five very specific emotions. Now. I'm not sure, but I feel like most of us have seen the Pixar movie Inside Out. Now, I know I can't see you, but let's do a thumbs up if we've seen that movie. Yep, that is a great movie. So, in that movie, we talk about five very specific emotions. Uh, and I'll write those down real quick. All right, so here are the five big emotions that we see in the movie Inside Out. We have joy, which means we're happy, big smiles, right? And joy is always running around, trying to keep everything neat and tidy. Sadness, who's always sad, and right? She's got that big blue face, and she falls over when she cries. We have anger, little red guy who always blows his top. Ah, ah, fire comes out of his head. Fear who's purple, and when things don't go right, uh, freaks out, he runs around everywhere. And then we have disgust, who's just so grossed out by everything. Ugh. Ugh. Ew. Right? Everything is just disgusting. So those are our big five, right? And when we've talked about emotions in drama class, we always go back and we talk about what each of these mean. Because these are the five emotions that we tend to feel the most. But here's the thing, there are so many other different emotions, so many different ways that we can feel. And some emotions that we feel are a combination of different feelings of these five. So what we're going to do today, my friends, is we are going to talk a little bit about two very advanced emotions and then we are, if we have time, and we should, we are going to play a little game, or I'm going to show you guys a little game, where we have certain things that might, might happen in our lives, and we need to react with the emotion that feels the most appropriate. All right? So I am going to erase these real quick, right? Joy, sadness, anger, fear, and disgust. If any of my friends have Disney Plus and would like to go and watch the movie Inside Out on there, um, it is a great movie if you haven't seen it. It teaches us all about these emotions and how we feel when we have all of them. So I will erase these and we will go about our lesson for today. All right. So, the big, first big emotion I want to talk about today is feeling nervous. We'll talk about feeling nervous, right? And over here, I'm going to write our second one. Rough did not spell this word right. One sec, guys. Nervous and worried. So, 
Nervous is an interesting one. Nervous is when we're only a little afraid of something, right? It's sort of like a cross between being scared of something and feeling shy. Now, when you feel shy, right, you, you want to be nice to someone, but you're just like a little afraid to talk to them. So you're not really scared and sad. You kind of feel happy, but you're a, a, little, a little scared, right? So nervous is a little bit of a combination of shy and like scared. So that is a way we all feel, right? And so what I would like you guys to do is think about a time that you felt nervous. And just as an example, I am going to write down a time that I felt nervous. So I wrote down my job interview at Aug Prep. I felt a little nervous about that. Now I was, I am pretty new at teaching. Uh, that wasn't the first thing I did. I was an actor actually before I taught. And I did lots of shows, lots of plays, right? Plays are basically when, you know, instead of a movie, when you film something and you edit it and put it on a screen, plays are when you essentially do a movie in front of a live audience. And you might make a mistake, and if you do, you have to fix it. And the audience can react right away to what you are doing. So, as an actor, I learned how to, everything there is to know about drama, right? So eventually, I worked at a school when I was acting, and I decided that I loved teaching. So I went to school, and I got my teaching license, and I started looking for jobs. And it was, it was hard to find some jobs at first. But then I heard all about Aug Prep. Um, a friend of mine, uh, actually, a lot of you probably remember Ms. Basso, right? Ms. Basso was my friend. And when she found out that she had to leave, um, she asked me if I would be interested in this job. So I filled out all the right forms. And Mr. Kyleberg said that he wanted to bring me in for an interview. And at first I was very excited, right? I was like, oh boy, I get to be a drama teacher for elementary school kids, right? I thought that sounded so cool. But when the day came, right, and I had to do my interview and I had to teach a class and show Mr. Carlberg what I could do in front of students, I was a little nervous, right? Even though I was so excited to show things off, I couldn't help but feel just a little scared. Like, what if I mess up? What if something doesn't work? And you know, what if the kids think that something I did is a little weird? Like, who, who is this guy? Who is Mr. Roth? Boy, what is he doing, right? And that's fine. That's normal, right? Everybody, when they go into a brand new place or they try something new, they feel sometimes a little nervous. You're, you want to give it a shot, but you're just a little scared, right? Not a lot. So that's when I was nervous. But as it turns out, I had every reason to be excited because Mr. Carlberg said, hey, guess what? We want you to be our drama teacher. And after that, I realized I never really had a reason to be nervous. So there you go. So that was a time when I felt nervous. So think about, uh, my friends, think about a time maybe when you felt nervous and you were maybe just a little scared to do something, right? Okay, so that is our first big emotion for today, nervous, right? Now, our second one over here is worried. Now, worried sounds a little bit like nervous, but it's kind of different. When you worry about something, you're, you don't know if something is going to be good or something is going to be bad, right? And, you can't, and it bothers you so much that you don't know how something's going to go, right? It's, it's not about being shy or being scared. It's just something that bugs you. It's like, boy, this project I wor I'm working on right now, I don't know if it's good or if it's bad. I'm worried that my teacher won't like it, right? So it's just, it, it makes you feel even a little angry, just a tiny bit, right? So you t sometimes you worry about things. And I can go ahead and tell you about something I worried about once, right? I, um, this is another teaching story. 
when I was working on getting my license, so that's the card I need to let people know that I'm a teacher and I'm allowed to teach, right? I worked on a very, very big, big test that was called the EdTPA. I'm right down the board, actually. EdTPA. So it was a big, think of the EdTPA as a big test that adults have to take. Now I had to, when I was teaching, you know, for practice, right? I had to film all of my students. I had to answer 15 questions and I had to answer them very carefully. And every single question was worth five points, right? So I had to make sure that I did very well and answer all the questions on this big test correctly. And you couldn't just take the test in one day. You had to take it over three months. Can you imagine taking a test for three months, right? So I was worried. I was worried that when I turned it in, it, that uh, when I submitted it on the computer, I would, it wasn't, maybe it wasn't good enough. What if I worked all this time and the people who give me my license don't like it. So that was something I worried about for a long time. Now, here I am teaching all you wonderful people at Aug Prep, so I, I passed. But boy, oh boy, you worry, right? You worry a lot about things like that. So I was worried about the EdTPA and worried that I wouldn't get my license for teaching. So those are two big things. When you're nervous about something, you're a little shy and you're a little scared. And when you're worried about something, you are a little upset and a little scared over the fact that something you worked on or something you're doing might not be good enough or might you know not work, right? So those two, go together a little bit, but those are two big emotions and two scary emotions that we all feel. So, congratulations my friends. We have started off our emotions unit by talking about two very, very, very difficult feelings. So, now that we have those under our belt, we can go ahead and we can experiment with all different kinds of feelings. So here's what I'm going to do. First, I'm going to erase the board because when we are finished with the activity that we are going to do, we are going to discuss the many different ways you can feel in all of the situations that I have listed. All right. So, Let's go ahead, I'm gonna pull up a list here. I have some, let's see. I have certain situations that you might be in, right? And if you were to act them out, you might have a certain kind of emotion that you'd feel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give out a situation and I am going to react, my friends, that the way I would if I ever heard or saw any of the things that are going to happen in this list of situations I have here. So let's start with the very first one. So the first one is, you just walked into your house late at night and you hear someone walking around. Now. I think that you would feel pretty scared, a little nervous, and a little worried all in one if you heard some th somebody in your house that shouldn't be there, right? So let's pretend that we're coming home, right? So I'm gonna go over here and pretend I'm opening the door to my house. All right, open it up, and we hear this loud crash. We're like, what was that? So look around. Then you hear footsteps. You look up, you not only hear 
you can almost see where the sound is coming from. So you hear a little All right, What is that? What could it be? So we very carefully climb the stairs, right? We hear the noise again, we stop, we look around, wonder if there's anyone else. Up we go, nice, slow, and peek around the corner, look, and turn. And you slowly, slowly open the door upstairs and... Ah! Oh, thank goodness. It was just our dog. It was just the dog. He was walking along the creaky floor. But it looks like he was playing on the bed, so we have to tell him that that wasn't the right thing to do. So thank goodness. The only noise we heard was our dog playing around in a room he wasn't allow allowed in. Whew. So now we don't feel scared. We feel calm. We feel relieved. And relieved is another emotion. I'm going to write that one on the board, actually. Relieved is a good one. Relieved. And relieved means that we feel, um, we feel just so happy that something bad didn't happen. So... Whew, thank goodness, or what a relief. I can't believe it. So that's a great feeling. Feeling relieved is an excellent feeling. Okay, so now let's go ahead and call out another situation, right? And we'll see how we feel from that. So let's see, let's take a look at my list here and let's see we, what else we can do. So we did this a little bit with, um, what was the word? Indescribable, when we talked about vocabulary with chrysanthemum, this one we're about to do. Because when we did the word indescribable with chrysanthemum, we talked about certain things you can't describe. It just, there's no words. And one of those was freshly baked brownies, right, or desserts. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to walk into the house again, but instead of hearing someone upstairs that may or may not be someone you know. Let's go ahead and let's see what it's like if we walk into our house and we smell some fresh cookies that have just been baked, right? So out we go. All right, so we've had a long day of school. In we go. Close the door. All of a sudden. Ooh, ooh, something smells good. So just take in that smell, that beautiful, beautiful smell of freshly baked cookies. And we had a good day at school today, and mom is feeling generous, so guess what? She let us have two. Cookies are good. Mm, excellent. Chocolate chip and oatmeal raisin. She made two of a kind. All right. So... There is an emotion in there. So if you smelled freshly baked cookies, how would you feel, right? I know I would feel a certain way. I would feel that wonderful smell. Now you might feel a little hungry, right? It's pretty normal to feel hungry. But the two emotions that are kind of the same that I'm gonna write down are these two. We have calm and we have content. And these words both kind of mean the same thing. If you're calm, it means that you're happy and you feel, but it's a quiet kind of happy, right? So let's say you're outside walking around enjoying a beautiful summer, spring or summer day, right? Feel a breeze in your face, feel that wind. That might be a way that you feel calm and you feel content, right? And content is kind of like relieved. But, you know, relieved is, you know, when you go, 
Phew, right? I'm so glad something bad didn't happen. Content is kind of like letting out that same heavy sigh, but you're happy that something good happened without something bad happening. So calm and content kind of go together. Okay. Moving right along, my friends. Let me erase these real quick. All right, so let's see. We have our next one is, oh yes, you, I love this one. This one is one of my favorites. You wake up on your birthday and your mother is holding a sweet puppy when you come downstairs. So let's go ahead and pretend that we're lying in bed, right? So we're off screen, we're snoring. Our alarm goes off. Where is it? All right. Oh, get up. Oh, stretch. Check the calendar. All right. Today's my birthday. I wonder if I got any cool presents from mom and dad. So what we do is we kind of, you know, open the door to our room. Shut it behind us. And we walk down to the top of the stairs and we hear a little noise. We hear a little whoop, 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 a little bark. We're like, wait a minute, what is that? It almost sounds like we run down the stairs. We're so excited we might slide down the banister, which I don't recommend, but whoo. And we get downstairs and oh my goodness, we put our hands over her heart, our hearts, because the mom got you the best gift, a sweet little puppy, right? You pick up the puppy, and you lick, oh, it licks your face. Blech, blech, so awesome. And you just feel so happy, right? That big happy face, just like joy has in Inside Out. So you feel happy, you feel so happy that you feel excited because you got such a great birthday present, right? And I'll write that word down to you, my friends. Excited and we all know what excited means, but I'll just write it down. It means we are very, 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 with them capital letters, happy. So there you go. That is being excited. Very, so happy. Unbelievable. We got the best birthday ever. All right. Okay, my friends. So. Moving right along, let's see what else we can do, right? We might not get to all of these today, friends, but we'll do our best, all right? We'll make sure that we have enough time to do all these fun situations and play with so many different emotions. Okay, so let's see. Oh yes, this one is a little bit of a different kind of fear, right? So this one says, you walk into your kitchen, turn the light on, and a rat runs across your feet. So, let's say it's nighttime. We're trying to sleep again, so if we go back to sleep. And, huh, huh. Oh, we woke up, and let's see. What time is it? Oh, one o'clock in the morning. My goodness. But, oh, we can't get back to sleep. So... We go downstairs, everybody, you know, walk downstairs like you're tired because maybe a little midnight snack might make us feel better. We go, oh gosh, can I rub your eyes because I'm tired. Come into the kitchen, fumble for the light switch, and all of a sudden there goes a little rat right across your feet. And, oh my goodness, oh, oh jeez, okay. Oh, that was a rat. What do we do, what do we do, what do we do, what do we do, right? So. You're not just scared, right? You're way more than scared. You are freaked out. And I know that's a very weird emotion. It's got two words instead of one, right? But boy, when something really scares you, you are freaked out. So I'm gonna write that down, right? We have excited, right? We just did excited, it means very, very, very happy. Now let's do freaked out. Fine, there we go. Freak out means freaked.
out. Root out means very, very, very scared. So a rat running across your feet. Boy, that, I know that would scare me. Let me tell you something, guys. Rats are freaky, bats are freaky, bees freak me out. Uh, Mr. Roth's very afraid of bees, fun fact. So, there are lots of things that freak us out. I know some people are afraid of spiders, right? Some little things, little critters, just kind of, ugh, depends on what it is. So we might be a little freaked out. We'll, we're definitely disgusted, right? Because rats are kind of gross, and they, they smell bad, and they have germs, and yuck. But this is a big one. Freaked out means we're super, super duper scared, or very, very, very scared. Awesome. All right, let's keep on rolling. So now we have, let's see. Oh yes, I love this one. Because this is another one that goes with calm and content. So let's say that we are walking outside on a warm summer evening and we see a giant moon starting to rise. All right? So let's imagine we're outside walking around looking at all the trees, looking at the little breeze blowing through those trees. Everybody take your hands, right? And act like the leaves and the branches just being blown by the wind. And then we walk around, we smile, we feel calm, and we feel content because it's such a nice evening. But then we look up, all the way up, and notice the moon. We sit there and we smile because the moon just looks wonderful, my friends. And it's a wonderful, calm evening, and we feel very content. All right. Very nice, my friends. Okay, moving right along. So, our next... I'll erase this in case we have a new emotion. Our next situation, let's see what we've got. We are doing very well with these, my friends. So, uh-oh. You just got a note in class that reads, come to the principal's office immediately. Now, I think I know the emotion for this one. The emotion for this one is definitely... Worried. Definitely worried. Because let's say you got a note, let's say you're sitting in class, and you have a note that says, oh, Mr. Carlberg wants to see you. Well, we would definitely be worried because if the note just says, go to the principal's office right now, we're worried. Did we do something good or did we do something bad? And we don't really know. And we're a little worried about that. So let's say you get this note. It's like, oh, a note for me, right? Ah, oh my goodness. Go to Mr. Carlberg's office. What did I do? So, you might be walking, you're a little, a little worried. What? Maybe I did something good, right? So maybe you smile a little bit. Or maybe, maybe I did something bad. I don't know what I did, right? So, your walk will change depending on whether or not you think you did something good or bad. All right? So, definitely would be worried in a situation like that. Okay, my friends, we're about halfway through the situations. It is time for me to stop. So go ahead and think about some of these situations and think about some of the feelings you would have if you were in certain ones. We will finish these tomorrow, these situations, and we will go ahead and explore into some of the deeper, more advanced emotions that we can feel. All right, my friends, I'll see you soon. Have a great day.